Pallid sturgeon evolved from a group of fish that dominated when dinosaurs roamed the earth. Yet in 1990, they were listed as an endangered species. Over the past several years, biologists have been capturing adult pallids near the confluence of the Yellowstone and Missouri rivers. Then they bring those fish to a facility like the Mile City Fish Hatchery, where they're spawned in a controlled environment. We put a man on the tail, and it takes a man to hold the head. It takes Amanda to do the actual stripping of them to, to express the eggs out of the female. It takes one guy to, to hold the bowl to catch it. And this is milk that we collected last night. And so what I'm going to do is make sure that we have a good sperm motility um, in the cross that we're making this morning with, with our female. And the male that we have here, the sperm is probably 95% active and we're seeing it last up to three minutes in duration. We gradually stir everything with a, we use a feather because it's delicate and we stir that water with, with the milt in there to get the eggs fertilized and 30 seconds later we should be done. From there we decant that off, we put fresh water in it, we'll put them in one of our hatching jars and they're there until they hatch. There's very few adults left and the clock is ticking. The future of the endangered pellet sturgeon lies with these little guys. And you know, there's nobody here that's giving up. This is Mike Garnett, out among Montana's Fish, Wildlife, and Parks.